Paul, whether one is a new filmmaker or more seasoned, mm -hmm. what would you advise in terms of the best practices for submitting to film festivals? What are some of your sort of quick and dirty little cheat sheet cliff notes that you would give someone? Well, they're different for seasoned filmmakers versus new filmmakers. If you've been on the circuit before, it's far easier to navigate the circuit. I think with, with our first film that we did on the circuit 10 till noon, we spent like $3,000 in submission fees. Flash forward to Favor, which is the third film I've had on the circuit, I think we spent like $300 in submission fees. Like you just, once you, when you're an unknown commodity, you go out, you have to pay full fees um, and to everybody. But when you've been around the circuit before and you've played at other festivals, you can always write to them and ask for waivers. They don't always give them to you, but often they do, or at least a discount. And the Austin Film Festival, once you've played there, you get a $25, $25 to submit, again, late, early, whatever. It's a flat fee. That's a huge saving. I think their late fee is like 100 bucks, something like that. Um, with Favor, uh, Blaine Weaver, my actor, had been in the Austin Film Festival before, so I was able to, to get that, that alumni fee. Um, so you can, you can save a lot of money that way. So that's different. Once you've played it before, you have an advantage. You're known. You can get around the entries. Um, but even if you're a first-time filmmaker, Couple things you should do. One, uh, submit early. Submitting late is always more expensive and your odds of getting in are far lower. They start programming right away. So you wanna get in the door. If you submit early and they like your film, they're gonna mentally put you on the schedule. If you submit late and they like your film, they have to like your film better than something else they've already mentally put on the schedule. So you go in early, you're not being graded on a curve. You go in late, you are. It's just the way it is. But also the submission fee uh, differences between early and, and late are astounding. Like I think early average fee early is like 50 bucks. Average fee late fee is 100 bucks. I mean that's crazy. So submit early, and then be wise about where you submit. You know I just I think that if you have a um, a five thousand dollar feature with no stars and you have no connection to the Sundance Film Festival, don't submit to the Sundance Film Festival. It makes no sense. And don't be like, well you never know. No you know. You do know. You're not getting in. Especially if you submit late, because their program set in, in mid July, you know all this. Uh, most of the submissions come in in, in the September, whenever like, everybody's rushing to get it in, oh, under the under the wire. You have no chance. The schedule is set. You're literally one hundred twenty-five dollars to pay for Lawrence Fishburne's hotel room. That's literally what you're doing, uh, out of the goodness of your heart, and you're sending him a coaster of your movie to uh, for the their cold drinks. That's basically about it. Um, and you know, so be wise. And you know, do your homework. A good thing to do is if you're thinking of submitting to a festival, and I know there's a lot of legwork, but what you do is go to the website of that festival and look at the previous year's program. If they're playing nothing but Cuban-American films, as the Miami Film Festival does, and your film takes place in Saskatchewan, don't submit there. Maybe it's not that. Maybe you should submit to the Fort Lauderdale Film Festival, which is a wider program. You know, some programs have certain specific directors or tastes. If you've made a a mumblecore film, don't submit to Fantastic Fest, you know, just be wise. Um, your good batting average for getting into festivals is about 25%. That's pretty strong, so for a first filmmaker. So um, if you wanted to get to 10 film festivals, you had to submit to 40. Submit early. Uh, and don't be afraid to, to, to write for waivers if you know somebody or know somebody who knows somebody. You never know. So let's go back to that um, first time filmmaker because it sounds like a lot of research should, should yeah. really be put in. Did you make like a spreadsheet document? Did you, were you that organized where you tracked? What? I wish we were that organized. We, <laughs> we blundered into it. That was the whole point behind making official rejection was that uh, hopefully filmmakers would come in a little bit wiser. We kind of blundered, we kind of went blah. <laughs> like we'll start with Sundance late and then we'll blah, we'll sh scatter shot. And, now I'm a little more organized about it. I, th I think a good rule of thumb is uh, don't rush to finish your film. Finish it when it needs to be finished. You know, don't 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 send an unfinished movie because you just know they'll check, they'll see the spirit of it. No, it's going to be good when the cut's done and when the mix is done. They're looking for any reason to reject your movie. Think about when you were casting your film and you got stacks and stacks of headshots. You're like, you have one part. You maybe want to read 20 people for the part. You got 400 headshots. You're looking for any reason to get rid of this, you know, these people. Anything, anything that you can do to, to, to get someone off the pile. And programmers are not that different. You know, if your film isn't finished or the cut's not quite right yet, they're gonna. That's a a really good reason for them to toss it aside. And again, unless you know somebody, 
and they're going to give you that extra grain of salt, that extra little bit of attention, there's no point in doing that early. So wait till the film's finished, send it in then, and look at the schedule and say, what's the next, if, you, if you're going to apply to major film festivals, what's the next two major film festivals that are coming up that I could submit early to? There's Toronto, South by Southwest, Sundance, Slamdance, LA, South by. That's really it. Did I start with South by? I don't know. I may have repeated South by that list. But those are the ones. So if you finish your film in December, well, it's too late for Sundance and Slamdance, and maybe even too late for South by. So maybe start, start with LA Film Festival and then Toronto, and those are your next two. And then anything after those two, if those two don't accept you, you're not going to get into any major film festivals. They're all pretty much the same. So, or Tribeca in May. I, yeah. So go ahead and after that point, start looking at regional film festivals that you've heard are good. And, you know, you want to know about film festivals, ask a filmmaker. Um, even filmmakers that you don't know, if they're not, you know, famous major filmmakers, they'll be happy to write back to you. I actually wrote a blog because um, I kept getting asked what my favorite, my favorite film festivals were. Just listing, here are my favorite festivals. Here's why they are my favorite festivals. And they were, and they were regional festivals. They weren't like major ones. They were ones that indie filmmakers have a reasonable shot of getting into if their film is decent. Um, I wrote that blog so I could send it around. And people would say, hey, what's your favorite? I go, here's a list. You know, Phoenix, Dead Center, Napa. There's a whole bunch of festivals that, um, that if you are outside the system, and you don't have major stars in your movie, and you made your film for twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, if they like it, they'll still play it. You're not running against, you're not, running, you're not competing against Robert De Niro. What's the URL for that blog? It's, uh, it's Just Shut Up and Shoot nice. is my, is my uh, blog. So. Let's talk about um, the more seasoned filmmaker. What are some of the politics and etiquette that one should abide by when going and asking for a fee being waived or a lesser fee? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's a good question. I, you know, I'm actually really a pussy about it. What I do is, I think a really smart thing to do, and this is just in general, is just be a nice person and be cooperative and be grateful when you get into a film festival and be friendly with the staff. Um, film festival staff aren't that different than any filmmakers. They're just trying to put on a show and make and you know do their. That's it. I mean, then you're the same thing you're doing. So there's a lot of. I find a lot of common ground with that. So, you know, you're, you've been some, you've been cast in their festival. Be cool. Don't be a dick. Go down there, shake their hand, buy them a drink, um, ask how you can help, and let that help extend past the end of the festival. Friend, make friends with them on Facebook. Get their email address, and then when your new film is ready, say, hey, I'm, you know, I just want you know my new film's just just completed. And we're looking at the schedule. We'd love to be able to play your festival again. Blah blah. blah. We're going to be submitting. Well, usually they'll they'll um, they'll uh, they'll say yeah well, don't pay a fee whatever you do here's a waiver fee often they'll they'll ask sometimes so I'll do that and almost always they'll offer if they don't offer then I might say well if it's possible we can get a maybe a discount and then <laughs> then they'll go oh yeah you can get a waiver and blah 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 or the, or some will say discount um, Blaine Weaver I know outright asks because he cc me on the emails <laughs> to Austin can we get a fee waiver. Uh, I'm much more of a scaredy cat about it. And actually, and if I wasn't friendly with the staff, I, we played, for example, uh, Official Rejection played the Waterfront Film Festival, which I'd heard great things about, but it was a scheduled the exact same weekend as the Dead Center Film Festival, which I'd already committed to going to. So I didn't get to go to Waterfront. I felt terrible. We played both festivals, but no one was at Waterfront, and I was at Dead Center. When Favor came around, I'm like, well, I'm submitting to Waterfront again, because again, I've heard good things. Submitted to Waterfront, and I, I couldn't just write to them and go, hey, can I get a waiver? Because I didn't show up the last time. I mean, I told them I wasn't showing up. It wasn't a surprise, but I didn't go. So I paid the full fee. And then we got in, and I did go this time. And they were like, you're so cool for paying the fee. <laughs> like, we respected you so much more for paying the fee because uh, you, know, you didn't have to. You could have got a waiver. I'm like, well, I didn't feel like I had, I didn't feel like I could ask that of you. But 